In a world where success and wealth are often celebrated and coveted, it's essential to remember that not everyone who comes into your life has your best interests at heart. Being careful about who you share your wealth and good fortune with is not an act of selfishness. Rather, it's a prudent and necessary step to protect both your assets and your well-being. In this video, we will delve into the importance of selective sharing and offer insights into how to make wise decisions about sharing your wealth and good fortune. The Paradox of Prosperity Prosperity in any form often attracts attention. Friends, acquaintances, and even strangers may be drawn to you when they perceive that you have ample resources or good fortune. While many people genuinely care about your well-being, there are others who may have ulterior motives, consciously or subconsciously. This paradox of prosperity highlights the need for discernment and caution when it comes to sharing your wealth and good fortune. Here's why it matters. Number one, protecting your financial assets. Your wealth represents years of hard work, dedication, and sacrifice. Sharing it without careful consideration can lead to financial instability or even loss. It's crucial to evaluate the financial impact of any assistance or sharing arrangement ensuring that it aligns with your financial goals and responsibilities. Consider creating a financial plan that outlines your long-term objectives, such as retirement, investments, and debt management. This plan can serve as a guide to determine how much, if any, of your wealth you can comfortably share without jeopardizing your financial security. Number 2. Avoiding Exploitation Unfortunately, not everyone who seeks to share in your good fortune has noble intentions. Some may attempt to exploit your generosity or manipulate you for their own gain. These individuals can be skilled at concealing their true motives, making it essential to exercise caution and remain vigilant. Look for red flags, such as constant requests for financial assistance, a history of financial irresponsibility, or attempts to guilt trip you into sharing. Trust your instincts and be prepared to set boundaries to protect yourself from exploitation. Number 3. Nurturing Genuine Relationships Sharing your wealth and good fortune should be an act of kindness and a way to nurture genuine relationships. It's an opportunity to strengthen the bonds with loved ones and friends who have supported you through your journey to success. However, indiscriminate sharing can strain even the most robust relationships. To maintain healthy connections, it's important to communicate openly and honestly about your financial boundaries. This not only protects your interests, but also fosters trust and respect in your relationships. True friends will understand and appreciate your responsible approach to sharing. Number 4. Maintaining Personal Well-Being Your wealth and good fortune should contribute to your overall well-being and happiness. When shared thoughtlessly or excessively, they can lead to stress, anxiety, and a sense of obligation. It's crucial to prioritize your mental and emotional health. Consider the impact of sharing on your own well-being. Does it bring you joy and fulfillment, or does it create unnecessary stress? Prioritize self-care and establish boundaries to ensure that your wealth and good fortune enhance, rather than detract from, your quality of life. Number 5. Strategic Philanthropy and Giving Back Selective sharing doesn't imply a lack of generosity or philanthropic spirit. On the contrary, it encourages strategic philanthropy, where you can make a more significant and meaningful impact by focusing your resources on causes that align with your values and passions. Before giving to charitable organizations or causes, conduct thorough research to ensure your contributions are utilized effectively and responsibly. Consider establishing a charitable foundation or working closely with established organizations to maximize the positive change your wealth can create. Number 6. Educating and Empowering Others Another aspect of selective sharing involves promoting financial literacy and empowerment. Rather than merely providing financial support, consider educating your loved ones and close associates about responsible financial practices. Offer guidance on budgeting, saving, and investing, empowering them to make informed decisions about their finances. By equipping others with financial knowledge, you help them become self-reliant and better prepared for their own financial journeys. Number 7. Building a Legacy Selective sharing plays a crucial role in building a lasting legacy. 
by carefully considering how your wealth and good fortune can positively impact future generations. You can leave behind a legacy that extends far beyond your lifetime. Think about the values, principles, and opportunities you want to pass on to your heirs. Establish a clear estate plan that outlines your wishes and ensures that your wealth is preserved and distributed in a manner that reflects your values and objectives. In conclusion, while the allure of wealth and good fortune can attract a myriad of intentions, being careful about who you share your prosperity with is a matter of prudence and self-preservation. It's about protecting your financial assets, nurturing genuine relationships, and safeguarding your well-being. Selective sharing doesn't diminish your generosity. Rather, it ensures that your acts of kindness are purposeful and meaningful. It empowers you to make a positive impact on the world, leaving a legacy that reflects your values and principles. Remember that your wealth and good fortune are tools to enhance your life and the lives of those you care about. By exercising caution and wisdom in sharing, you can ensure that these resources serve their intended purpose while safeguarding your own future and well-being.